Hey there guys, it is Digital Sea out with Digital Tech, and welcome back to another tech video. In today's video, I'm going to be talking to you about an iOS 7 jailbreak app, which has elements of tweaking, you could say. It's called Bitefon 2. So, pretty much, this tweak is as simple as finding the icon after you've installed it on the home screen, and you have a very kind of minimalistic kind of like home screen kind of design. It's pretty simple, you've got icons on the bottom, which you can navigate around, and as you can see here, I go through the overview bit, but what you do pretty much is go to the search icon and you find some some fonts, basically, or you can just go straight to Cydia and find one, and uh, as you can see here, I, I kind of take the time to kind of find one here, but I find one which is the Ubuntu Light Text, um, which actually you, you might find pretty much in most of the newer versions of Ubuntu, actually, it's quite hilarious, actually. Um... Uh, I take a bit of time to get to the button pressing here, but as you can see, once I clicked on it, it allowed me to go over to Cydia to download the font. Um, and pretty much from there, you just install it. Um, I just got a bit of a error thing there from uh, something, I don't know why. Um, so there, I just pr quickly press install, then confirm, and there you go, it just runs the installation. And once it's done, you don't have to do any re springs, you can just return to Cydia and just come out of Cydia. So pretty much we're now back in there, and we're now going to change our font. Now, as you can see, there was a backup one there, but I'll explain why that's there in a minute. So, we're just doing that respring, and there you go, we've come back up at the lock screen, and we've got the new minimalistic, I suppose, Ubuntu text, which I actually I quite like. Um, I prefer the normal iOS 7 one, but, you know, it's a bit of a change, bit of a nice selection, you could say. See, everything that is uh, on the menus are, like, either, like, a bit smaller, and, like, some of the big things that, like, are important, they're bulky. So, as you can see there, Biter Font Backup, that is the main one that you want, because it takes you back to the original font. So, now, there you go, that is it. We're sorted. So, uh, if you want to find this, guys, it is called Biter Font 2, and that is available on the Mod My Eye repo. It's for free as well, and it's made by iPhoneRuler.net. So that is it, guys, for this video. If you enjoyed, be sure to smack that like button down below. It really helps me out. And also, stay tuned for some more tweak and app videos for jailbreaking CDA. You know all that shiz. And I'll see you in my next video, guys. Thanks for watching. Peace.